These are the scenes that have boldly gone where no other has gone before. If we don't help each other, we'll die here! Perfect! Then that's the way it shall be! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 Star Trek movie moments. Fire everything! Just to be clear, we're focusing on the standout scenes that were not only unique, but raised the stakes and were instantly iconic. I've heard you. And I wish to go on hurting you. Number 10, Meeting God, Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. You doubt me. I seek proof. Jim, you don't ask the Almighty for his ID. Kicking off our list is the moment that epitomized Kirk's need for pain. I don't want my pain taken away, I need my pain! Arriving on the God Planet at the center of the galaxy, Kirk and company meet what appears to be the Almighty, only to overhear that it needs a ride. Leave it to Kirk to point out the elephant in the room. Excuse me. It will carry my power to every corner of creation. Excuse me, I'd just like to ask a question. What does God need with a starship? Number 9, Crash Landing, Star Trek Generations. There are plenty of ships that blow up in Star Trek, but it's rare to see a starship, albeit half of a starship, crash land on a planet. Here, the Enterprise-D is forced to make a harrowing and spectacular landing. All hands, race for impact! An unforgettable scene, it's an awesome sign-off to the ship that we loved throughout the Next Generation series, proving that even in space, you should always buckle up. <laughs> Number 8, Vulcan Rescue Mission, Star Trek. With a Romulan mining ship from an alternate future attacking Vulcan, the Enterprise arrives late, seriously outgunned and unable to use its transporters. As a result, Kirk, Sulu and a red shirt decide to attempt an atmospheric skydive to shut down the drill. Good luck. This adrenaline pumping scene led to one heck of a nod to the original series, while the unexpected destruction of Vulcan no doubt caused a few fans to implode. Number 7, The Cloaked Warbird, Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. If there's one constant in the Star Trek universe, is that a Klingon bird of prey cannot fire while cloaked. Well, cue everyone's surprise when a rogue Klingon general uses a ship to prevent the Enterprise and the Excelsior from saving a peace summit. The result is a harrowing one-sided space fight that's only resolved when Kirk fires a special cloak-seeking torpedo. Fire! Shakespeare can't help you now. To be or not. Number 6, Battle with the Borg, Star Trek First Contact. This is easily the franchise's most sweeping space battle yet. Here, humanity's most terrifying enemy arrives at Earth, causing the entire Federation to give the cube everything they've got. While their battle comes across as hopeless, and Worf gets a chance to gleefully attempt to sacrifice his own ship, Prepare for running speed! Picard arrives and saves the day in the nick of time. See Picard's calm demeanor? It's just a ruse, that dude is seriously pissed. Number 5, 1980 San Francisco, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Hey, why don't you watch where you're going, you dumbass? Well, I'll double dumbass on you! Time travel is often used in the franchise, but this time it was all about the fish out of water comedy. Ironically, the Wayward crew went back to the 1980s to find a whale in order to satisfy a destructive alien probe. Shenanigans ensue, including Chekhov unsuccessfully asking for directions. It's where they keep the nuclear vessels. And Spock neck pinching a street punk. Number four, Mutara Nebula and the death of Spock, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. In what is widely regarded as the greatest Trek film ever, Kirk and his crew face off against Khan's captured ship in the Mutara Nebula. A blind showdown, it ultimately ends with the damaged Enterprise coming out on top. Fire! Fire! However, when Khan decides to use the Genesis device to kill them all, Spock sacrifices himself to save the day. But, this bromantic sacrifice is only the second biggest tearjerker of the franchise. I have been, and always shall be, your friend. 
Number three, self-destruct. Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Code zero, zero, zero. Destruct zero. Of all the ways a starship has ended its run, nothing has been as emotionally draining or visually gratifying as Kirk sacrificing his one true love next to Spock. Here, Kirk sets the original Enterprise to self-destruct before beaming to the planet below as an alternative to surrendering to the Klingons that had killed his son. Seven, six, five. Get out! Three, Get out of there! Two, Get out! One. You're not a die-hard fan unless you get a little bit choked up seeing the old girl go. Number two, final farewell, Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. Captain, I have orders from Starfleet Command. We're to put back to space dock immediately to be decommissioned. If there's one thing sadder than seeing any of the characters or ships meet their end, it's this scene, which ended the original cast's 25-year run. Here, the crew is ordered to return to base and be decommissioned. You can feel the emotion, as even the actors knew that their time was up. Having earned a dignified send-off, they decide to take the ship for one last ride before hanging up their uniforms. Captain's Log, Stardate 9529.1. This is the final cruise of the Starship Enterprise under my command. This ship and her history will shortly become the care of another crew. To them and their posterity will we commit our future. They will continue the voyages we have begun and journey to all the undiscovered countries, boldly going where no man, where no one, has gone before. Number one, Kirk's Yell, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Taking the top spot on our list is the most famous, and certainly the most mimetic Star Trek moment ever. This one came from Kirk losing the upper hand and realizing that he had been bested by his arch nemesis, who took great pleasure leaving Kirk stranded on a barren moon without the possibility of rescue. Barren alive. Come! Come! All things considered, Kirk takes the news pretty well. Agree with our list? Yes! <clears throat> What's your favorite Star Trek movie moment? For more entertaining top 10s, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.